With the new Los Santos Drug Wars DLC released in December 2022, there came yet another business to get involved in, which is the Acid Lab. In this video, I'll be breaking down everything you need to do to get up and running, as well as the best, most productive way to run it, and of course, sell it onto your loyal customers. This is the Drug Wars Ultimate Acid Lab Money Guide. So without further ado, let's get to it. Hey friend, it's been a while. In order to get everything underway, you'll first receive a phone call from Ron, asking you to meet him in Sandy Shores. They've taken over Trevor's old place at Ace Liquor. There, you will meet your new best friends. Who the fuck are you? My friend. That's my friend. From now on, you'll have a total of six specific missions to undertake, each lasting on average around 10 minutes to complete. After the first mission, you can activate the next ones by visiting a large yellow D under the bridge by the casino. This is where you'll start the rest of the missions. The first mission sees you defending the Ace Licker business from the lost. Show me your butthole, fella! then heading across the lake to murder some more NPCs before stealing a van and delivering it back to the fruit shop. There it is! Mission 2 sends you on a hunt to find the truck to then pick up a flatbed. This will then blow up. Head to the Lost MC Clubhouse, murder some more people, then take a photo of their plans before picking up a bag and a stash of weed. Deliver this back and you're on to mission three. I hear you pulling up out there. I'd advise taking a vigilante or similar for this one, as you'll be blowing up a load of lost MC property. You then have to locate 10 bundles of meth. Before stealing their beloved dodo and very slowly flying your way back to the drainage by the freak shop. Mission 4 is just an absolute mess where you do some stuff while tripping your balls off. But don't go down! Head for the round gateway thing and watch out for the trucks! Classic tunnel phase, a lab rat staple. Kill the rabbit. We gotta kill the rabbit. We got it again! Mission 5 requires you to blow up some lab equipment in tents. Then destroying three delivery vans. Asshole. Then murdering some half-naked cannibal rednecks at the altruist camp. And blowing up three more vans. The last mission requires a trip to the humane labs, where killing in stealth is preferred. You send it to us. Then search the crates for the goodies and escape in on the train tracks to eventually divert a train. with which you'll then have to search for to find five stashes of chemicals. Shithead. Now steal the brigade and deliver it. With those six missions out of the way, you'll now be asked to grab some supplies and deliver them back. Ready to start the production of your acid once you have talked to Matt. You ready to pull the trigger on that acid lab? Still here, friend. And handed over $750,000 or free if you have GTA Plus. Boom, the 
future is here. Get inside, let me show you around. At this point, do not start any production just yet. Doing so will be a massive waste of time, effort and money. The reason being is that a full brigade worth of product will sell for just under $240,000. What you want to do next is call your new buddy Dax and request a job from him. Yo! Yeah, let me get back to you. Okay, this should do. Upon completion of the job, there will be a cool down period of 48 minutes before you can access another one. There are five types of Dax jobs, each decided at random. One involves finding and killing a boss, then delivering a truck. Oh, ah! One involves blowing up a load of Meriwether vehicles and property. I advise the Kanjali tank for that one. One involves stealing a crop duster and destroying some opponent's crops. One sees you stealing a Go Postal van and then blowing it up at a lost MC camp. And another, which is easily the most stupid, has you destroying some weed. Then going on a trip. Nothing you do here matters, you just wait it out from here until the mission ends. These initially pay out $100,000 each as they are double money when they first launch. So completing all 10 will see you paid $1 million for the privilege. Once you have completed 10 of these jobs, you'll be granted the ability to now upgrade your brigades, lab equipment and produce better stock faster. Change, change your dude. Wanna go in there and check it out? This will now sell for just over $335,000. Selling this in a full public lobby, however, will grant you the high demand bonus, which could sell for a total of just over half a million dollars. There are two ways to get supplies in order to produce your stock. One way is by sourcing the crates yourself. Each crate of supplies is equivalent to only one and a half bars. You can call in your acid lab to make the delivery of these crates quicker. Or you could ask your mate Matt to source them for you at a cost of $60,000. This will max out the full 5 bars. You can do this by visiting him inside the lab, or even better, just give him a call from anywhere on the map. Hello? Okay, gonna cost a little. I know someone who has what we need. Ideally, you always want to buy the supplies, as the time invested in sourcing them yourself is better spent doing other things. There are three types of selling mission. One is delivering newspapers. This one is by far the worst. So if you get this, simply reload into a new lobby and try again. You will lose a tiny bit of stock, but it's well worth it. Another is doing drops at five locations. and the other is a police ambush. Because you want to be doing these in public lobbies, always register as a CEO before selling. You can activate ghost organization so you won't appear on the map to any potential griefers for a whole three minutes. Before starting any selling mission, you also want to request a job from either Simeon or Ron. This way, you can accept the job on your phone, back out, and you'll lose the cops immediately.
meaning plain sailing for the end of your selling mission if needed. And be sure to upgrade your delivery bike in the freak shop for extra speed and armor. You can also upgrade the brocade, and in doing so, makes the thing rather brutal. It's also great for easily losing the cops by simply popping into the back. Just don't add the scoop at the front as it means it can no longer climb small sets of stairs. Now let's look at the breakdown of time it takes and how much you actually make. It will cost $96,000 to fill up your productivity bar. As mentioned earlier, this can sell for over half a million dollars. That's up to a total of just over $400,000 of profit. It takes four hours to fill up your acid lab if you're staying on top of the resupplying. That works out to a pure profit of just over $100,000 every hour. You can, however, double the speed of your production every 24 hours inside the acid lab. It's all a catalyst, man. It'll speed things along. And if you forget to wash your hands, you might expand your horizons, you know what I mean? This will double up the speed in which your product is produced for 30 minutes. Doing it this way, it will now take three hours to produce maximum acid. That works out to $135,000 every hour. These are some great numbers for pretty much doing nothing apart from selling it once it's ready. And on top of that, these are completely solo friendly as you will only ever have one selling vehicle, unlike the bunker or MC businesses. We'll have to wait and see to find out whether these will ever be in a double money event week. And if they are, they would definitely be worth it. All in all, it's not a bad addition and is one of the best businesses to get for newer players. So what are your thoughts on the new Acid Lab business? So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. Who the fuck are you? I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one.